the teachings of Joseph Friel from the book Sound, Native Teachings and Visionary Art. This is chapter one called Echo. Echo, a quote by Joseph Royal. In the beginning before time, before the cosmos is created, the people do not exist in physical forms. So this teaching is about how the people, invisible ones, become the visible made ones. Chapter one, we do not exist to understand this truth requires a transformation of one's way of understanding the cosmos. For most people, this does not come about through intellect so much as through absorption in the way the trees absorb the elements of life through their leaves and roots. Life is breath, matter and movement. God's breath is black light and white light in dialogue, and all the perceptual reality is vibration. Modern physics teaches similar things, of course, but I do not learn these truths from the study of physics. I receive this knowledge in visions connected with teachings that were imparted to me in my grandfather's kiva at Procurus Pueblo more than 60 years ago. Everything observable and non-observable in the sphere of the perceptual reality is the result of the breath of God, moving in space-time continuum, creating matter and creating life. All of my teachings tie into the reality that there is a seer seeing everything. We call it God, the higher power, or whatever. It is simply the vast self seeing itself, creating itself. We humans perceive ourselves and the world around us as solid objects, as flesh and bone, sitting in a padded chair or on a grass covered earth. But all these things, the flesh, the bones, the chair, the grass and the earth are artifacts of one great collective act of perceiving in which all beings participate. What we perceive as solid, having dimensions and colors and other physical properties, are really just pulses of energy moving and vibrating, each in its own unique pattern, so as to interact with our patterns to excite our senses and create patterns of perception. We are perceivers, and in this, and in and it is in our act of perceiving that vibrations become sounds and smells and feelings and colors. All our acts of perceiving things take form, and thus we do not exist. We are perceivers, and all our organs of perception are patterns of movement. We pulse in and out of existence constantly. Of course we do not perceive our pulsing, for in the instant that we blink out of existence, we lose our power of perception. Our existence comes across to us as a continuum, but it is not. We are not constantly flashing on and off. We are instead flashing on and off like a strobe light, a drumbeat, returning to the silent void and then back again into perceptual reality. Another way to say this is that we are constantly being unmade and remade again. Each time we are unmade, each time we return to the void, we are changed in the remaking. In fact, it is only in those instants of non-being that we have the power to change. It is only when we are unmade and remade that the new thing that can come into this perceptual reality the change is the only change is only possible because we really are not the solid beings in continuous existence that we think we are god's breath is the power the energy of matter in movement because of this on off pulsation